everybody, and welcome to another episode of Super Kids. When do you lose track of time? When you're reading a good book, when you're maybe playing some video games, maybe when you're playing with your friends outside. Well, prepare to lose track of time now as we hang out with my friends from Woi Chun Elementary School. Hi, guys. <laughs> you can feel the energy. That's right. Well, it's time to make time fly and have a good time. Let's get going. Welcome to Wilson Elementary School, the better brains of this week's Super Keys. Are you willing to take a look around? Aha! This must be the Seoul Warcheon Elementary School. Rumor has it that Mukdong's most promising stars of the future are gathered here, right at this school. And they are ready to show off their intellect. These kids are determined to make this episode the most exciting Super Kids adventure yet. So, shall we check them out? How did you like our school? Now it's time to check up on how good our Wolchan students are. Let the Super Kids of Super Kids begin. It's time for Super Speed Quiz! A 60 second time limit. The more scores there are, the better. Okay, we better start the speed quiz or else who knows what's going to happen. The place will blow up. And to help us as always is our glowing and electric Callie. Hey, Callie. Hello, it's great to be here. And the students at Seoul Wordtone Elementary have lots of good energy. I hope they funnel that into the speed quiz today. I'm sure they will. And I kind of regret not wearing sunglasses. I like your, your jacket. <laughs> okay, let's see who they are. Hi, what's your team name? My team name is Apple Team. Okay, and your name? My name is Yu Jae Young. And what do you like to do in your free time, free time, Jae Young? I like to play soccer. Excellent. Okay. Well, are you ready? Yep. Then let's go. What am I doing? Smiling. Not laughing. Smiling. Very good. good. All right. You eat this on your birthday. Cake. Very good. All right. Opposite of white. Black. Good. Okay, you use this to paint. Brush. Very good. All right, what is this? What part of my body is this? Arm. Very good. All right, not a shark, bigger. In the ocean. Shark. Bigger. All right, okay. Medium, small, big. They're all different. Size. Very good. All right, in a playground, it goes up and down, up and down. Two kids. This. Okay, opposite of cool. Not hot, it's hot. Oh. Okay, oh. <laughs> if you're dirty, you take a, you sit yeah. in the water. Very good. Okay, all the countries in the earth. The whole countries in the earth make the W, okay. You wear this around your neck. Wow. Okay. What was that thing? Goes up and down on the playground. It's called the seesaw. And she said, not hot. It's, was it warm? I think it was, was warm, not hot. Okay, total points, not bad guys, 70 points. Good, good start, let's have the next team. First team did a good job. Let's meet our second speedy team. Hi, what's your team name? Lemon. Okay, and your name? My name is Kim Gyuna. Hmm, and do you have a hero? My hero is Superman. <laughs> Superman, okay. Well, if you're ready, let's start to fly. All right, you give this to someone on their birthday. Another word for present. Gift. Good. Good. Opposite of minus. Plus. Good. All right, you fly this in the sky with a long Airplane. string. Airplane. Okay, close. All right, color, tomato. Red. Good. All right, you need this to cut paper. Uh, scissors. Good. All right, it's hard. It has a hard shell. It's in the sea and it has 10 legs. Kind of. Yes. Okay. The name of this show. What show is this? Super Kids. Very good. Seoul is the blank of Korea. 
Oh, oh compass. Okay, you put this on your eyes when it's too glasses. bright outside. Oh, sunglasses. Good. They catch criminals. Police. And you, okay, okay, good. You wash your hands with blank and water. You, you need it? Okay. What is this? Tom. Okay. You turn this on for light. Button. Oh. Oh, okay. Whoa. Very, very fast. Almost too fast. So fast. Some of the hints they didn't hear to the end. Fly it in the sky, need this string. It's a kite. Thought it was an airplane. No, it's a kite. Okay, let's see. They did uh, a little bit better than the first team. One point better. Eight points, guys. Great job. Let's have the next team. What did I tell you about losing track of time already? We're in the middle of our speed quiz. Let's meet our third team. Hi, what's your team name? My team is Kiwi Team. Okay, and your name? My name is Yu J Gop. All right, and what do you like to do in your free time? I like reading books. Reading books, fantastic. Okay, let's see if your book knowledge will help you with a speed quiz starting now. Animal, oink, oink. Pig. Good, all right. You need to drink this when you're thirsty. It's clear. Water. Good, all right, opposite of devil. White. Angel. Very good. Excellent. Okay, international sporting event every four years. Big. Olga? No, okay, close. Okay, opposite of bottom. The? Uh, side. The, okay. okay. You, not a boat, another word for boat. Sheep. Okay, good. You make this when it, when it's cold. Frosty Ice. the. Okay, okay, pass. All right, you put this on your toothbrush when you brush your teeth. Toothbrush? No, okay. Ooh. You need this when you mail a letter. You pay money. Post? Oh, close. All right, you go here for picnics. Central blank. Park. Very good. Excellent. You need this to nail, when you nail Hammer. it. Hammer. Good. All right, if you put food in it, it's cold. In the kitchen. The good. All right, flout. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good job, guys. Very good job, of course. Sometimes when you hear things, images come to your mind. What do you put on your toothbrush? A toothbrush. Well, I don't know how you brush your teeth, but some people might use two toothbrushes at once. A little bit crazy. It's toothpaste. Excellent. We're all very close. Very similar scores. The third team got seven points. Very good. One more team to go. Our fourth and final team will now show us what they're made of. Let's meet them. Hi, what's your team name? My team name is Orange Team. Okay, and your name? My name is Saw Chu Hyun. Do you have a favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. Okay, and how many points do you think your team will score? Eight. Eight? Let's see if the prediction is true. Let's begin. All right, chickens, ladies. They're white Eggs. and yellow. Good. All right, king of all animals. Lion. Oh, good. Okay, opposite of north. Oh, south. Good. Quack, 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 quack. Good. Dun, 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 dun. Close. When two people get married, it's at the? Good. Good. All right, not a watch, but it's on the wall. It tells time. Pass. All right, not a prince. Girl. Princess. Good. All right, opposite of log out. Okay, oh. you watch this and you watch the news and dramas. TV. Good. All right, it follows you around. It's black. When the sun's out on the floor, it's your black on the ground. Yes. Okay, oh. um, you listen to this on your MP3. Dun, 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 dun. Ear. Listen to it. Okay, princess, seven dwarves, apple. Oh. She, it's a, Piss. okay. Imaginary creature blows out fire. Dragon! Oh. Wait a second, wait a second. I heard an answer at the very end. Let me ask the judges. Did, did they catch that one? He said dragon at the very, very end. Let me see. Okay, they're giving it, they're giving it, guys. That's good news, which means your total is eight as you predicted. Good job! <laughs> Wow, <laughs> what a prediction, what a happy team. And thank you very much for making us happy, Callie. Thank you for having me and good luck to the students at Seoul Wojun Elementary. They did a great job.
All right, let's see if that great job continues in the next round. True or false? Press true or false button about one same topic. Get two points with correct answers, but lose a point if you're wrong. Get more correct answers to defeat the other team. Well, the true and false topic is exciting and challenging. I'll give you a hint. I've been working on this for a little while. Okay, ready? No, it's not about your teacher that you don't like. It's about dinosaurs. That's our topic today. So let's see the first teams. We've got apple and lemon. Very similar scores, seven and eight points. Very good job, guys. Now, I hope you know your dinosaurs and uh, I'll actually help a little bit with the pronunciation in Korean because wherever you go in the world, they're kind of known as different things. Let's hear the first question. Dinosaur means terrifying lizard in Greek. Dinosaur means terrifying lizard in Greek. Same answer, both have true. The correct answer is true. Very good, very good. Two points apiece, moving up. So the guys move back, and we will soon have the next question. Nine, <laughs> 10 points, neck and neck. Okay, nice start. Let's have the next question. There were dinosaurs that could fly. There were dinosaurs that could fly. Oh, differing answers. Let's see what the correct Answer is false. Very good. I guess, you know, in the cartoons, you see the dinosaurs flying. Uh-uh. I guess the uh, Igyong were not dinosaurs, technically. Not dinosaurs. The uh, Pterosaurus, Saurosaurus, <laughs> the ones we see in the cartoons that fly, not dinosaurs. Okay, and dinosaurs only lived on land. Learn something new every time you watch the show. Me too. Okay, let's have the next question. A stegosaurus had spikes on its tail. A stegosaurus has spikes on its tail. Both have the same answer. The correct answer is true. That's right. That's what it means. Kind of the stag is the points on its tail. Okay, let's look at the points real quickly. It looks like the apple team has 10 points. The lemon team has 14 points. Very good. Here's the next question. There were dinosaurs that only ate plants. There were dinosaurs that only ate plants. Same answer. Is it the correct answer? Yes, it is. Congratulations. Very true. Yes. Hmm. And they were not called vegetarians. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you the next question. If you're ready, good. Here it is. A triceratop had two horns on its head. A triceratops had two horns on its head. Differing answers. Let's see what the correct answer is. False. That's right. It had three horns. Okay. Oh my goodness. It looks like that was the clincher. Apple has 11 points total. Lemon has 18. So that means Lemon is moving on to the next round. Two more teams to do battle. Let's see who they are. Looks like their Kiwi team with seven points. Orange team brought with them eight points. Once again, very close battle. Let's see who moves on. Here is the first question. Dinosaur bones grew until the dinosaurs died. Dinosaur bones grew until the dinosaur died. 
Both have the same answer, true. The correct answer is true. Very good. That's right. That's right. As long as they were alive, I guess they kept on growing and growing. I know some kids like that who love milk. Okay, here is the next question. The Tyrannosaurus lived during the Jurassic period. The Tyrannosaurus lived during the Jurassic period. False is the answer both are giving. What is the correct answer? False, very good. That's right, I guess they lived during the Cretaceous period. That's right, a different period altogether. Very good, very smart teams. Let's see, 11 and 12, still neck and neck. Let's see if we can break this moving forward together tie thing. Here's the next question. Allosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur. Allosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur. Both have the same answer. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, we're right. Very good job. That's right. It was a meat-eating dinosaur. They liked meat. Now, those of you at home are thinking, how are these guys doing all the answers? They're geniuses. That's true. Well, we do give the schools the, uh, the topic in advance so they can do a little preparation. These guys prepared, obviously did a great job. Let's see, though, if they can get the last question. Here it is. Dinosaurs laid eggs. Dinosaurs laid eggs. Same answer again. Is it the correct answer? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, let's check the score real quick. That's not the last question. This next one might be. Let's see, Kiwi has 15 points. Orange has 16 points. Very good, guys. Will this be the last question? Let's see. Roar! Dinosaurs existed in Korea. Dinosaurs existed in Korea. Both, again, same answer. The correct answer is... True! Okay, what can I say? Good news and bad news. The good news is they knew all the answers. Prepared well. Bad news is there's still one point difference, and that one point goes to the orange team. That's right. With 18 points, they outdid Kiwi by one point, who had 17 points. Very good job, guys, but the orange team will move forward. So this is class 8 of 5th grade of Seoul Wotun Elementary. What are these students so immersed in? Oh, they are learning English from a native English speaking teacher. Learning from a native speaker must really motivate them to study harder. Right, kids? <laughs> so it's true. These kids are really enthusiastic about speaking English. Oh, already recess time. As you can see, kids are kids. There's nothing more fun than to play games with your friends. All the classmates of Class 8 seem to get along well with each other. What's up next? Art class. Wonder what they are going to make today. Hmm, cutting paper, then gluing them together. Hey, it turned into a box. Looks like a perfect size to put in school supplies. This school's art program teaches students to make things that you can use in real life. It fosters their creativity and teaches them the value of things.
제가 직접 뭔가를 만든다는 게 재밌고요. 제가 제일 좋아하는 수업이에요. 와우! It's debate class now, and all of the students are actively participating in the discussion. Warchon Elementary often has the entire class debate in a class session so that the youngsters can enhance their communication and critical thinking skills. So kids, can you tell us what you take pride in Warchon? <laughs> 우리 학교에서는 교장 선생님이나 교감 선생님께서 아이들 안전을 위해 거리까지 나와서 교통 법규를 잘 지키나 보러 오셔서 참 좋습니다. 우리 학교 선생님들이 공부도 잘 가르쳐 주시고 다정하셔서 우리 학교가 참 좋아요. 아이들이 학교 생활을 좋아하고 즐거워하니까 저도 그런 아이들이 너무 예쁩니다. Hey, already time to go home? School's finished? Why are you guys packing your bags? Why are you changing clothes? Where are you guys going? Excuse me. Aha! It's PE class. That looks like fun. How great is it to play with your friends while strengthening your body? But isn't it cold outside, guys? 추워도 밖에서 움직일 수 있는 발레오 같은 활동을 할수 있어서 좋아요. 재밌고요. 더 잘할 수 있었는데 아웃돼서 아쉬웠어요. 월천초등 학교 바로 최고예요! And this was Wocheon Elementary's fifth grader school life. It's battle of the brains. 20 competitors remain. It's a one-to-one -one survivor game. Only two kids will go through. Who will they be? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Bob. That's right, Battle of the Brains. If you're ready, I'm ready, and let's have a warm-up question. If you know the answer, raise your hand real quick, as fast as you can, and say super. Okay, a lot of kids nowadays have cell phones. That's right, talking to mom and dad, talking to each other. So let me ask you this question. How many numbers on the phone? Okay. We'll go with number 12. Please stand up, please. Please, please, please stand up. All right, and your answer is? 10. Very good. All right, number 12. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. You do? You call mom and dad a lot or your friends more? Mom and dad. Mom and dad, very good. That's probably why they got you the phone. <laughs> Excellent. Please choose a number. 17. 17! Come on out! <laughs> Hi, 17. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah, do you have a cell phone too? Yes. Do you talk with your friends more or mom and dad more? Mom and dad more. Very good. Okay, mom and dad are happy at home watching and saying, okay, whew, good job. We, we have responsible kids. Excellent. Here is your first question. Our ancient ancestors drew pictures of four different types of plants. These plants were called sagunja. Of those plants, what is green all year long and grows in stalks? Number Leaf. 17. Leaf. Leaf, no. The chance goes to number 12 right now. I'll give you three seconds, and then we'll give you both a hint. Three, two, one. Okay, the plants were called sagunja. Of those plants, it's green all year long, grows in stalks. I've seen it kind of dry. I don't know if those are dead and brown, but definitely they're used for many different things. The first letter begins with B. Branch? Number 17. Branch? Nope. Okay, number 12, three seconds. Two, one, go into the floor. If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Number three. Number three, stand up, please. Okay, number three, what is your answer? Bamboo. Yeah. Correct. 
Do you like hiking? Mm, a little bit. What kind of things do you do with mom and dad on the weekend? Mm, the weekend? Well, not much. Play badminton, watch movies, maybe. Ooh, excellent. Okay, please choose a number now. Number one. Number one, come on out. <laughs> number one comes running out, inspired, energetic. What kind of things do you do with mom and dad on the weekend? Mm, making something new. Make something new. Excellent. Okay, here's a new question for you guys. There are five colored rings on the Olympic flag. The color blue represents America and the black stands for Africa. Then, which continent does yellow represent? Number one pressed first. Asia. Yes. Very good, very good, okay. So let's see what happened. Now number three goes to the leader's position. That's right, because no one else has a point except number one. And see, he's got one point on the board. Let's see if he's able to stay in that spot or if there's some kind of change. Right now, the other gentleman with one point is number one. Number one, please choose a challenger. Number two. Number two. Number one, number two. Number two, do you have a future dream, something you want to be in the future? Yes. What is it? Uh, to work in the International Cooperation Center. Wow, that's a great, great dream. I hope it comes true. Okay, here's a question for you guys. Mecca is where Muhammad, the founder of Islam, was born. Muslims regard this city as the holiest place on earth. Then, in which country is Mecca located? Number one. Israel. No, sir. Do you know the answer, number two? India. No, it's not India. Actually has, well, kind of like two words. There's an S beginning the first word, and then an A for the second word. What is this country where Mecca is located, regarded by the Muslims as one of the holiest places on earth? Okay, I'm gonna give you five seconds. Okay, we go to the floor if you know the answer. Whoa, you're already saying super. And number 18, please stand up. Okay, gonna bring the mic over to you. And your answer is? Saudi Arabia. Yes. Correct. The correct answer is not Israel, it's Saudi Arabia. Now, of course, number 18 has a point, too. Now, please choose an opponent. Number 15. Number 15? Okay, come on out. Hi, number 15. If I gave you a round trip ticket, of course, your parents, too. You can go anywhere in the world. Where would you go? New Zealand. New Zealand? Wow. Any reason? Uh, no, no well, reason. Well, if it's sheep that you like, we've got one giant sheep here, so you can kind of feel like you're in New Zealand. Very green and one giant sheep. Okay, here is your question. Our ancestors thought a beautiful woman must have three blacks and three whites. The three blacks refer to the eye, eyebrow, and hair. The three whites are the skin, the hand, and this. What is this? Ooh, interesting. Three blacks, the eye, the eyebrow, and hair. That makes you beautiful. Three whites, white skin, white hand, and white something else. Yes, 15? Foot. White foot? Ooh. Number 18. White leg. White leg. Mm. With these, it's very important to keep them clean. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Yes, White number 18? Heart. heart. Okay, five seconds. Yes, number 15. Uh, white, white mouse? No, that's not it. We go into the floor. 
Super, okay, who do we got? Number six, please stand up. Okay, with your white shirt, what's your answer? Teeth. Teeth. That's right. Yes, it's very important to keep them clean. Brush your teeth as much as possible. Good answer. How often do you brush your teeth, number six? Mm, three times. Three times a day? Yeah. Very good. Okay. The, uh, if you notice, the leaderboard is a little bit crowded. We have three people tied at number one right now. Actually, there's number six on the floor, too. If you count her, that's four people with one point apiece. Right now, number six has to choose an opponent. Uh, number seven. Number seven, come on out. <laughs> Do you brush your teeth three times a day? Yes. Excellent. Okay, here is a question for you guys. We often use letters to represent words. For example, PW stands for password, and PR is actually public relations. Then in DIY, what does the Y stand for? Oh, what is this thing? If you go to a bookstore, you can actually see a section. It says DIY. Do it blank. You're not getting help from other people. You're doing it alone. Did you give you five seconds? Yesterday. <laughs> No, that's not it. Three seconds to number seven. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to the floor. Whoa, a lot of hands raised. 16, please stand up. Yes, your answer. Yourself. Yes. <laughs> Do it yourself is the right answer. One point for him and look at the leaders. It's getting crowded over there. There's a whole bunch of number ones at one point apiece. Right now, on the floor, five people with number one. What will happen? Will the tie be broken? It must. Only two can move forward. Who's your opponent? 13. Number 13. <laughs> oh, do you have a favorite sport? Yes, I have. Uh, I like soccer. Soccer, OK. You look like a soccer player with your long hair and your tough outfit. Okay, let's see if you're ready for this question. Known as the Sun King, this man ruled France during the Bourbon Dynasty. The Palace of Versailles was built for this king. Who is this man, also famous for his phrase, I am the state? Who is this king? The Sun King from France. Yes, number 16. Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Okay, your chance. We'll give you three seconds now, number 13. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. Chanja. No? Okay, now he's a famous guy, of course, for what he said and the big Palace of Versailles, but there's a big number after his name. A big number after his name. His name begins with an L. Gonna give you five seconds. Okay, number five, please stand up. And your answer is? Louis XIV. Yeah, very good. Okay, let's look at the board again. As you can see, in the leader section, it's just too crowded. Something's gotta happen right now. Don't fight over there, relax. You're all like relaxing on the, <laughs> on the thing. Five people in the leader section with one point apiece. Of course, number five also has one point, so that's six people on the floor with one point. Let's see if that changes. Please choose an opponent. Number 14. Number 14. Louis, come on out. <laughs> Hi. Um, let me ask what your favorite class is. Um, my favorite class is physical education. Physical education. 
Do you have a favorite sport or a favorite thing you like to do during PE? My favorite sport is volleyball. Volleyball, excellent. Okay, here's a question for you guys. Serve! Yeah, Super Korea time, that's right. And last week, if you're watching, Super Dori went out in the Seoul area and found some great spots. Of course, today is a continuation. We've got so many great spots all over Korea. Today, once again, is Seoul. So, here is a question from Super Dori. Hi, do you see the water sprouting behind me? Isn't it beautiful? I can't believe there is a place like this in downtown Seoul. Come on, let's look around. You can see clean water streaming down and all those plants. Wow. Ah, smells good. My friends, you should really come down here. It's a beautiful place. Well, guys, this is a stream flowing through Jongnogu and Junggu. Restored in 2003, it has become a popular rest area for the Solites. What is the name of this stream? Number five. Chonggae Chung. Yes. <laughs> Number five, thank you. You have broken the tie. Number five now has two points. The answer is Chonggae Chun. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not gone there, go. It's fantastic. It's a great walk. Lots of places to see. Actually, lots of water to see, but people are there with their families exercising. And uh, I don't think you can play volleyball there, but very nice. Okay, finally, number five, choose somebody else. Number four. Number four, come on out. <laughs> Hi, number four. Have you visited Chungi Chum before? No. No? <clears throat> Gotta check it out, it's pretty nice. Mm, where in the Seoul area do you like to go? Um, I don't know any place. Mostly just school and home, I guess, huh? <laughs> Okay, well, here's a question for you from Super Dori. What a grand sight this is! This is the highest mountain in the Seoul area. It is also called by the name Sangaksan because of its three peaks Pegunde, Insubong, and Mangyongde. Designated as a national park, what is the name? of this mountain. It's the highest mountain in the Seoul area. Highest mountain. Of course, it's also called Samgaksan. Yes, number five? Bukhansan National Park. Yeah. Very good. Bukhansan is the right answer. Excellent. Now please choose another opponent. Number eight. Number eight. Number eight. Have you visited Pukansan before? No. How about Cheonggyecheon? Oh uh, yes. Ah, did you have a good time there? Uh, yes. Did you go with your family? Uh, yes. Ah, okay. Well, are you ready for another question from Supodori? Yes. Here it is. Hi there, friends. Can you see where I'm at? This is one of Seoul's most famous sites. Let's go inside and explore more. Come on! Wow! It's incredibly big, isn't it? The building you are seeing right now, Sokjojan, is the oldest stone construction in Korea, built in 1910. Now, here's a question. What is the name of the palace that the Sokjojan is located in. Okay, number eight. Taksugung. That's correct. Excellent job, number eight. With one point, you got the correct answer. Taksugung. Okay, please choose a number. Number nine. Number nine, come on out. Hi, number nine. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, reading books. Read books. Do you read every day? 
Sometimes. Sometimes. It's not every day you have free time, I guess. Yes. Okay. Well, here's a question for you guys. I'm standing in front of the Seoul Museum of History, where you can learn about the history of Korea at one stop. I heard there are many national treasures inside. Want to check them out? Then let's go! Say kimchi, smile. Hey, can I take a picture with you guys? Where is it? Hmm, not this. Oh, not this one either. Where in the world? Aha, found it. Wow, it is wondrous. I heard that this is something very valuable. Who can think of making such a thing? Do you know what I am looking at? It is the Chagyaru, a water clock. When the water level rises to a point, the clock marks the hour automatically. The man who made the Chagyaru is a famous inventor from the Joseon dynasty. Who is this man? Number eight, press the button first. That's right. Very good, very good. Now, if you notice, number eight just got her second point. That means everybody with one point standing over here, you could all sit down. Everybody with one point can go sit down now because that tie is broken. That's right. One, two, three, four, five guys moving over there. Ooh, it's a mass movement. Now, we go back to number eight, and she gets to choose an opponent. Number... 10. Number 10, please come out. <laughs> Hi, number 10, how are you? I'm fine. All right, let me ask you, um, do you have a hero, someone in history that you really admire? No. No? Anybody living that you really admire? Mom, um. dad? My father. Your dad, okay, excellent. Are you guys ready for the question? Yes. Here it is. Kim Hongdo, Shin Yunbok, and Zhang Seungup were regarded as someone in the Joseon period. What was it that they were all so good at? They were very talented at this one thing. These famous people, Kim Hongdo, Shin Yunbok, and Chang Sun Up. Yes. Drawing. Yes, indeed. Drawing is the answer. Fantastic. Right now, the two leaders have three points apiece. Excellent. Now, what is your challenger's number? Uh, number 11. Number 11, come on out. Hi, number 11. Hi. Um, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to play soccer. Play soccer. Excellent. And you're pretty good at soccer? I think so. Well, hopefully you're good at this next question. Here it is. These are some of the most commonly used weather symbols. What does the last symbol represent? One. Yes, number 11. Fog. Very good. Yes, indeed. That's what it represents. Doesn't matter what the weather is, it's always the perfect weather to play soccer. Okay, who's your perfect opponent? 20. Number 20, come on out. <laughs> Hi, number 20. What do you like to do in your free time? I like to listen to pop songs. Do you have a favorite pop artist? A group or a singer? No, all of them. All of them. Okay, here's a question for you. You are listening to Dongban Xingyi's Ong Dal Sem. They are singing in this musical form that 16th century churches used, singing without instrumental accompaniment. Nowadays, it is a singing style which uses harmony and no instruments. 
What is this musical form called? Number 20. The answer is a cappella. Yeah! Obviously, in your free time listening to music, it helps you. A cappella, lots of different great a cappella singers and groups. The real group is great. And of course, uh, Dong Bang Shingi did a fantastic job there. Now, please choose an opponent. Wait, there's only one more person. Come on up. <laughs> all right, he's doing the long route, walking all around. He's been sitting the longest. Are your legs okay, number 19? Yes. Okay. Do you like music? No. No, okay. What do you like? I like playing and watching TV. Watching TV. Okay, playing and watching TV, excellent. Let's see if that helps you with this next question. This is a mountain in North Korea that has different names for each season. You will find the Pirobong, Manmulsang, and Kuryong waterfall here. What is this famous mountain? Yes, number 19. Kumgongsan. That's right. That's right. It's known as Kumgangsan in the spring. The other seasons, I guess in the summer, it's Bongnesan. In the fall, it's Pungaksan. Winter, Kegulsan. Wow, I'd love to go there during all the seasons. Now, right now, well, there's no one else sitting on the floor, so what are we going to do? 19, go home? No, never. What we're going to do is you get to choose between the leaders. Tied with three points, choose who you'll do battle with. Number five. Number five, come on out. <laughs> Number five, not happy. But either way, we've got this question. Good luck to both of you. It is a common belief that Aida, an opera by Giuseppe Verdi, was written to celebrate the opening of this canal in 1869. What is this canal that connects the Mediterranean with the Red Sea? What's the name of this canal? Connects the Mediterranean and the Red Sea. Hmm. Yes, number five? Suez. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Very happy. He's got the celebration going on and obviously with four points now, is in the number one spot. Number one spot moves on and accompanying him in the last round, number eight with three points. Congratulations! Our final round has come. It's time for head to head. Limited to three questions each, who will be a super kid today? Contestant number five, Lee Jong-hoon. Immersed in history and math, this young boy has big goals for the future. He wants to become the chief of the CIA. We can already imagine you carrying that CIA badge around. Contestant number eight, Moon so Jung, also has big dreams of her own. She wants to become a diplomat. Proficient in math and English, this girl will definitely make her alma mater, Seoul Wurchan Elementary School, proud one day. Well, <laughs> the super students of Wolchun Elementary School have arrived. That's right, the best of the best. Let's take a little time and meet them before we start our final round. Here we have, of course, um, the person who came with three points. It is lovely lady, So Jung. Hi, So Jung, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, and let me ask what you like to do in your free time. Uh, I read up books. You like to read books. What about outside? when you have free time, what do you like to do on the outside? Uh, I like to play volleyball. Play volleyball. What about with mom and dad when you have free time? What do you do? I watch movies. Watch movies, okay. Interesting. How about the person on my right? It's Chung Hoon. Chung Hoon, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to reading books. You like to read books too? Do you have a favorite book? Chronicle of Narnia. The Chronicles of Narnia. Did you see the movie? Yes, I have. 
Pretty exciting? Yes. Mm, what about outside? What do you like to do in your free time? I like to do hiking. Hiking with your mom and dad? No, my friends. With your friends? Wow. What about with mom and dad? What do you do? Uh, my, I do family talks usually. Family talks? Sit down, talk about your day, have yes. some fruit? Very, very good. Okay. You guys ready for the final round? Yes. Okay. Now, it was Chung Un had four points, and that means that So Jung will choose from the categories. Let's see what categories we have. Character, plant, insect name, purpose, and city. Sound interesting. Which category would you like to choose? Uh, name. Name is the category. Let's hear the name question. What character comes to mind when you hear the following words? Red nose, sleigh, Santa Claus, reindeer. Do you know the answer? Yes. What is it? Rudolph. Yes, indeed, it's Rudolph. <laughs> very good, very good. You got that celebration move down. Okay, now you get to choose a category for your opponent. Let's see what categories we have left. Character, plant, insect, purpose, and city. Purpose. Purpose it is. Said with such purpose. Okay, here's the purpose question. What are the following used as? Taj Mahal, Changgunchong, Pyramid, Dolmen, or Koindol? Not that easy. Do you know the answer, Sojong? Not quite sure. Okay, I'm going to give you five seconds. Actually, they are tombs. They're tombs. That's right, where you buried the kings or the famous uh, leaders. That's right, they're tombs, famous tombs. That's their purpose. Okay, so one point so far for Chong Un, none yet for So Jung. It's okay. That was our first round. Now we've got some more. Let's check out the categories character, plant, insect, and city. Which one would you like for your opponent? Plant. Plant it is. Here's the plant question. What plant do the following words make you think of? Vincent van Gogh. Stem. Solanin. French fries. Huh. What plant comes to your mind when you hear or even see these words? Stem, Vincent van Gogh, French fries. Okay, do you know the answer? Maybe. Which one is it? Sunflower. Sunflower? Oh! Well, potato? it's, I guess, possible. The answer is potato, but French fries, I thought a potato, but maybe they're cooked with sunflower seed oil? I don't know. Yes, it's, it's definitely potato. Okay, so your turn to choose a category for your opponent. Let's see the categories that remain. Character, insect, and city. Me? Yep. Insect. Insect. Here is the creepy crawly question about insects. The following words remind us of a certain insect. What is it? Queen. Hive. Stinger. Honey. Okay, what's the insect when you see these words? Honey, hive, stinger, queen. So, do you have the answer? Oh, B. That's right. <laughs> it's tied up, one apiece. Of course, Tone had a better start. Didn't matter, second round. So, Jung tied it up. We've got Two more categories. Let's see what they are. And it's So Jung's turn to choose. Character and city. Which one? City. City is the category. Here's the question. What city comes to mind when you hear the following words? 
Film Festival, Brandenburg Gate, Unification, Germany. Do you know the answer? Badly. Yes, it is. Excellent job, excellent job. Now we have one more category, and if Sojong gets the answer, she ties it up. We go to the tiebreaker. If she doesn't, we don't want to think about that right now. But it would decide our super kid for the day. What category is our final category? Character. Let's listen to the character question. Who comes to mind when you hear the following words? Battle of Waterloo. Saint Helena Island, French Emperor, Four Leaf Clover. Okay, who is the guy, the character? Four Leaf Clover, French Emperor, Battle of Waterloo. Who is that guy? Do you know the answer? Give you five seconds. Do you know? The answer is Napoleon. You knew. How come you knew that? Perhaps because you're a super kid? That's right, it's decided, ladies and gentlemen. It is our super kid right here. Congratulations, Tomo. Adi Dog is looking for natural born super kids. Elementary schools that have what it takes can visit Adidang's homepage, www.adidang.co.kr, and click on the Super Kids link. We're waiting for you to seize the challenge. All right, we did make it to the end. We found our Super Kid. Excellent job. Let's ask our second place winner how she feels. So, how do you feel? I'm happy. Happy? You want to say something to your opponent? Good job. Good job. How about to mom and dad? Um, I love you. Excellent. Always like to hear that. Okay, how about our first place super kid? How are you feeling? Just proud. Proud. You should be proud. And how about to your opponent? Sorry. <laughs> okay, and to mom and dad? Thank you. And you have some great stuff to talk about at your family meeting tonight. So great job to both you guys. Thanks everybody for joining us and please join us next week. It's a special, that's right, the best of the best. All those super kids that made it to the end this whole year, they're gonna come back next week and battle it out. The battle of the super kids should be exciting. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.